Yes. So 4 would go here, and then what is the fraction? Um, 4 and 5 tenths. Mm -hmm. So you put a 4 in here and then 5 tenths here, right? How about number 32? There would be 2 in the first box, 3 in the second box, and then the last box, 7 tenths. Good, but this is not really a 2, it's a... What is the value of this? 20. Mm -hmm. So you'd put a 20 here, a 3 here, and then a 7 tenths here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Now we're going to go on to this. There is a big box, and it has 100 squares in it. And each of these lines are 10, and each of these lines are 10. So if I filled in this and this, we could see that that is 0.20. Does that make sense to you? Uh -huh. Okay. So for this one, they're saying six of these boxes are filled in, but they didn't do 0.6. They did 0.06. Does that make sense to you, or do you want me to explain why? Well, I mean... It doesn't change the value unless the zero is on the back. It does change. This is not the same as this. So if you did, suppose you said, oh, that's 0.6. That would be incorrect. It has to have a zero here. This zero doesn't matter. If you put the zero there, you're correct. If you don't put the zero there, you're correct. 0.06 and point. 06 with a 0 in front, these are the same. So this 0 doesn't matter. This just means 0 ones. This is what matters. This 0 has to be here. So, um, so this means right here, this point 6 actually They mean two very separate things. So, did they pinch your go away. Did they pinch your go away. Yes, they did. Now go away. Okay, so this right here is a rod of 10. This. is what point six is. This means six out of 10. The 100 If you did 0.6 here, that would mean that you only had 10 rods because this is the tenths place, which means out of 10 little pieces of something. The 0.06 tells you that it's six pieces. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six out of 100. And the reason why I know that is because this is the tenths place and this is the hundredths place. So what this means is six out of 100. This one means six out of 10. So if you had 0 0.03, that means three out of 100. If you have 0 0.3, that means three out of 10. 
So this zero is a placeholder so that this ends in the hundredth place. Now, there's also something else that might happen, and it is this. This is the tenths place. This is the hundredths place. This number right here tells you that it's three pieces out of a thousand because the three ends on the thousandths place. So if we had 0.53, that would mean 53 out of 100. And I know that for sure because this three ends on the hundredths. And whatever it ends on, that's what our denominator would be. Our numerator would be what the number is. So this would be 0.53. We see that this is the numerator, so we put that here. And then the digit that it ends on becomes our denominator. So if we had 0 0.053, we would say, okay, well, I already know my numerator's 53. You can put the zero here, but it doesn't mean anything. A zero before a number just means it's still 53. What place does this end in? It ends in the thousandths place. So it's 53 over 1,000. Now, if we were to draw this out, we would have this, but it would actually be a cube like this. and the cube would be 10 deep. So that this would all be a thousand squares. And then of that thousand, I would color in 10, 20, 30, 40, 51, 52, 53. That means 53 out of this whole cube, that's a thousand. Does that make a little more sense? Oh, I can't hear you. A little more. Okay. Now, let me explain to you what this means. So this means... Pretend like this is a hundred. These are all hundreds. So this means three holes. That's what this is. We have one, two, and three. Anything to the left of the decimal is a whole number. This is the ones. This is the tens. To the right, it gets smaller. Yeah, this means not even one. Anything here? means less than one. Anything on this side means at least one. And these are just our regular numbers. When you say, hey, I'm 10, that's what this means. But if you said, I'm 10 in one month, then it would be 10 point something. If I'm 10 and a half, it would be 10.5. This means less than one. So we have this right here, and we have to put 0.4 in there. So we say, oh, you know what? I don't even need this whole thing. I just need a 10 block because I know it's 4 tenths. So this is three holes, one, two, three, and then a 10 block with just four pieces colored in. That's why when you said it was three tens and, I mean, sorry, three ones and four tenths, what that means drawn out is one hole, another hole, a third hole, and then four uh, out of a ten block filled in. This would be five holes.
and then it would be a 10 block with eight of them filled in. To make a little bit more sense? Okay, so now we have, this one is 1.05. So we know this whole thing would be filled in because it's one hole, and that's what this is. And then we know this means five out of 100. Here's 100, we're just gonna color in five of them. Make sense a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Let's go down to what this means. This means zero ones, three tenths, one, two, three, four, five, six, six hundredths, point thirty six. That means thirty six out of a hundred. And how did I know that? Because this becomes our numerator, and then whatever digit it lands on. This is the tenths, this is the hundredths, that becomes our denominator. Okay. How about if you do number five? What do you think number five would be? Five point sixty-eight hundred. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, and... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five and six. Sixty-eight hundred. Mm-hmm. That means five holes, and sixty-eight is our numerator. What digit does it end on? The hundredths. So five holes, and then sixty-eight pieces out of a hundred. Make sense? All right. Why don't you try number six? Fifty-four and fifty hundred. So. Four and should I put the zero at the back? Uh, the zero at the back doesn't mean anything. So you can do this forever. It's still four and five tenths. Okay. The zero over here doesn't mean anything. And the zero over here doesn't mean anything unless the only time it does is if there's a number after the zero like this. That would be four and five hundred one thousandths. But if it's just a zero, it's this is the same as four point five. Okay. All right, let's try number seven. So 2.012345, 2 and 5 hundredths. I'm just putting the fraction there just so we could see it in a different way. You don't have to do that um, for these ones, but I'm just showing you. That means 2 holes and then 5 out of a 100 grid like this. Mm-hmm. Do you say it to, like, yeah. if you were to say it, like, two and five tenths, would you say two and five tenths or two and zero and five tenths? So two and five tenths means this. Two and five hundredths mean this. So you always say the whole number, so you say the number two. The decimal means and, that's what you say. If it's this grid, consider this your and. One and, you count it up. So this would be two and five tenths. 
because it ends at the tenth digit and the number is five. And then this would be two and, here's your whole number, and then here's your and. It's a five and it ends at the hundredth, so you would say five hundredths. Okay. And then if you had something like 2.35, you would say the number 2, and then we have our and, 35, yep, exactly. All right, so let's do number page 6. We're going to do nine hundredths. What would nine hundredths, hundredths be as a decimal? Um, point zero nine. Mm-hmm. What about twenty-three hundredths? Point twenty-three? Yeah. What about number 16? Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do 16. Point, point oh 0.05? Yes, or you got five. it. The reason why it's 0.05 like this is because we need this five to end in the hundredths place, so we need a placeholder. Mm -hmm. All right, how about number 20? Three and 1700. Uh-huh, so we would do, what would it be as a decimal? Three. So you would do three point seventeen hundred. Yep. yep, and so it would look like this three point one seven. Okay. Now number twenty two. This is a little tricky. So we need the two hundred and thirty three to fit and be in the hundredths place, but that's impossible because this is the thousands place. So, when we look at this, we can say, oh, here's something weird. This goes over here. It's 2.33. And the reason why it's 2.33 is if I had a hundred of something, say this was a circle of a hundred pieces of pie, and I had 233, I would need more than, I went over one hole. So what this means is two holes and then 33 one hundredths. Why is there a third one? Why would the 33 be at like the point though? If um, okay, so let me show you uh, a different way to look at it. So we have 233 one hundredths. Remember how we used to make uh, mixed numbers and fractions? Mm -hmm. So what would I do if I had 233 one hundredths? How would I make that into a mixed number? You would see every time you go 100 goes into 233, yeah. which is twice, and then there would be 33 left, so it would be 233 hundred. Exactly, so this is a whole number, which means it goes to the left. Remember I said anything that's a real number goes to the left, and then everything that's a part of goes to the right. So this 33 one hundredths would go here and we know that 33 is our numerator so that would go here and it has to end at the hundredths place. 
So did this end at the hundredths? Yes. This is a whole number because if I had a hundred of something, I would need two whole pizzas. Like if I needed 233 pizzas and they were all cut into 100, I would need more than one pizza. So there's my two, and then my third pizza would be cut into 100 pieces, and 33 of those pieces would be taken. Does that make a little more sense now? Uh -huh. This is actually a whole number.